got them painted up. What I did here is I took some pour 15. I got that stuff down in the basement because I couldn't do it out here. It was just a little too cold. But what I did is I pour 15 the bottom and that turned out okay. And yeah. I hung them up and I pour 15 the whole bottom. And I also did the edges where all the welds are at and where the steel came together. Painted it into there on the back here. You know, any any place where the steel was separated to create a seal. And then I made a stencil, spray painted the stencil white, or spray painted this on here white. And then I took the, the little arrow right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. But the uh, the arrow is reflective stuff. God, it actually looks like the whole thing is reflective. But yeah, just this arrow is reflective tape. And then I put tape around the edges of these bars and put all this paper all over it and everything. So I actually just painted yellow on the very top of these bars. So... And they both, both sides look the same way. Huh. They turn out pretty well. Look real pretty. I think once I get them on the machine, they're going to look pretty nice. Maybe I'll uh, take the one that's most dry <laughs> and put it on the tire. Hold on a second. Yeah, there we go. I just got one on there, so the whole thing kind of tilts a little bit. But yeah, looks kind of neat. Stand at a distance. Yeah. And these, these colors are so bright, they just totally wipe out my white balance on my camera. You can tell that on the build, on, on the build videos of this thing. It was just so bright that <laughs> when I started painting this thing up, everything in the background just got dark. Let me turn off the light and see how bright that little reflector is. Okay, now I position my lights differently. Hold up my flashlight. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Got that little reflective part on the very bottom there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they turned out looking pretty good. Uh, now I gotta see how well they operate. Uh, you know, with the with the pour fifteen on the bottom of them, see how well they slide on the snow and stuff. Can't do it now; it's too dark outside. I mean, I could, but then you guys wouldn't be able to see it. So I think I'll wait on that. I'm still not really too sure about what I want to do with the rear tires. I got a lot of great suggestions on the last video. Uh, but the thing is, is I really don't want to destroy a whole new set of tires, buy a new set or anything like that. And I don't have any old sets around here that have bad tread or, or bad tires or anything like that. So I really don't know what to do. Uh, I could probably try building chains, but nah, I don't know. I don't know yet. So I'm still playing around with the idea. Yeah, but anyways, guys, if you have, uh, if you decide to do an idea like this, make sure you do videos of it and put it up on, on YouTube here, because I want to see other people's designs too. You know, whether you build one for your off-road mower or your, or an ATV or anything like that, or your own go-kart, that kind of thing. But anyways, guys, I'm going to get on out of here. Also, don't forget to visit the links down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.